Hi guys, it's Tell with Oshawa Bushcraft. It is Friday, September 7th. Uh, Jordan and I are outside of the town of Newtonville uh, doing a scout on a new piece of land that uh, a landowner is letting us use out here. And we're looking for a, a site that we use for bushcrafting this winter. And uh, while we were out here uh, scouting along, I came across this white birch behind us. Now, uh, in a past video, I started a fire using this white birch's tinder, and I had some people ask me to uh, do a better illustration of that for them. I guess I, uh, I kind of took it for granted uh, that the average person wouldn't know, uh, you know, you see it, the, the diagram done of it or you've seen it ref referred to, never actually seen it done. So uh, we're going to take some of this and uh, a little later when I get a chance, I'm going to show you how to uh, use it for tinder and how to process it down, how to start it up. Come on in. This is the stuff we're after right here. It's really light little uh, tissue paper type stuff. It's just falling off the tree. We're not hurting the tree at all by doing this. This stuff's just gonna fall right off anyway. Now we don't need to take an ax and split the bark right down and take it off. We're not building a canoe out of this thing. We just need to start a fire with it. So this is gonna work great. I'm gonna, we're gonna take this with us and uh, we'll start a fire. Stick around. All right guys, we're back. Uh, Jordan and I, uh, continued scouting and uh, further down the road we found uh, what we're pretty sure is an abandoned uh, trailer park and this place is huge it's got a road system that runs through it all these old concrete pads where the trailers used to be and um, we thought this place was pretty cool some different resources here that we might normally find so we're gonna stop here for lunch because we're getting hungry now uh, I found some uh, some old lumber here that I'm going to use for firewood just because uh, I'm hungry now and it was easy to get and it's dry. And uh, I'm going to get this uh, birch bark going here. Now, what we're after, the real stuff we want is the really, really fine lump ply, half shredded up stuff you saw me pull off the tree. Well, the finest stuff we can find. Tony, can you come in on this? Now, just like with any tinder, no matter how good it is, uh, it's your processing that's really going to get the job done. So, we could throw sparks at this and we might be able to get it to go, but it's tough. Don't go lay down, please. So, we're going to shred this stuff up as fine as we can without losing too much of it. Alright. You see that okay? Now we have all these tiny little fibers we can hit. Every one of them is another surface that uh, a spark can take. Here we go. Uh, I'll even get this going on the ground. What the hell? I wonder if I can get that to go with one spark. There it is. All right, guys, that was uh, using birch bark for tinder. Uh, we're going to uh, get some lunch going here, but uh, for now, thanks for tuning in. This is Tell with Oshawa Bushcraft, and uh, until next time, get out here and have some fun, guys. YouTube will be here when you get back.